driving, Murray. Now, go get that key. See you carry Cain of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you... You're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. <laughs> Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Bombs of thunder! Fire! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Booming 
Chop! Bombs up! Booming Chop! Fiery Wheel! Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <coughs> oh. Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoff volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here! Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's lair! Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's lair! We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Falcons are back! <laughs> 
tower into the giant dev ray! Fly, take out those rocks or we're in trouble! doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through.
would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. There yeah, won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then, Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay, and Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Murray, there are only 119 computers up there, and these fire slugs seem intent on getting to them before us. The first one to 60 computers wins! Sly, those tiles are booby trapped. You better get out of there. Hold on, that's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you. But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, Stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times.
Hi, Cooper. I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap! Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese! Haven't had to do this in a while. Okay, I used the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the yellow security code. Uh-oh. Well, looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithms. Stay sharp, Bentley. Thank you. 